Ayal. In this tutorial, I will show you how to do the jitter analysis uh, <clears throat> for a ding oscillator or any other uh, periodic circuit. Uh, I will also try to show you what are the different types of jitter uh, analysis which you can do and, and the different uh, kinds of jitters which uh, most people report in their literature. So I, as I said, I'm, I'm using the same setup and uh, if I move to the maestro environment, so here again, because we enable this uh, here all for the P noise, when I was setting the P noise analysis, uh, I set it all here. Uh, so uh, it also includes the jitter here. So I don't need to do anything special here uh, to, en to enable the jitter analysis. So I just uh, set it up like this, okay. Uh, if you don't know how, how I uh, define these options here, so please go to the other tutorial where, where I define the P noise analysis of an oscillator. Uh, now uh, let us simulate it again and uh, once the simulation is over we can uh, go back to this option here uh, under the results. Uh, let me first check we have this I'll close this also okay the simulation is over now let me go here results that plot man form and uh, I go to P noise, uh, PM here, and you see here there are different types of jitter here. So the JC is here and JCC. So the difference between these two is that JC uh, it's the cycle jitter. It shows a deviation of one signal period from its nominal values. Uh, in, in in papers or in literature, uh, if RMS jitter is reported, this is usually uh, this uh, JC, unless it's specified something otherwise also. But uh, in general, if you see uh, somewhere written uh, RMS jitter, it is this JC. And then there is another uh, jitter, which is a JCC, also referred as cycle to cycle jitter. It shows the uh, uh, jitter for a signal period between two consecutive cycles. Or in other words, uh, it shows the variation of signal periods into consecutive signal cycles. That's it. And uh, you have also like other jitters, like for example, uh, absolute jitter, uh, which is measured over a long period of time mostly that's you have large number of cycles it's also referred as a long term jitter and then you have the peak to peak jitter also which is uh, the maximum jitter amplitude that can occur in a system but mostly uh, you, you can report the jitter with this JC and in case of memories I think yes uh, uh, it is yeah, you can take the JCC but in general you can sim simply take the JC here and then you have the number of cycles. You can uh, take more for better accuracy also. So let me take here 10. And uh, here, this RMS and peak to peak, what I was exactly discussing. So this uh, this is uh, the RMS here and peak to peak. Uh, so peak to peak is the maximum jitter amplitude uh, that can occur in the oscillator. And then you have the RMS. It's the standard deviation of uh, jitter. And uh, if you take the scale of this RMS, it will be, it's the jitter power, okay? And uh, frequency multiplier because it's an oscillator here, so I'll keep it as a frequency multiplier. But if there's a di divider, for example, you would like to know the jitter of a divider, you need to take it, let's say 0.5 or something like this. And then uh, start and frequency, I'll keep it as it is, uh, add to the outputs, okay? And uh, I will, close this and let me now simulate this again so I should be able to see the jitter here uh, JC which I selected so you see here JC if I let's go uh, I send it to the next window here move to the new window so this is the jitter I have around 132 pico uh, uh, seconds jitter here okay that's how you do the jitter analysis for any other circuit or for us thank you